Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some exciting news for all you Linux gamers out there. Valve has just dropped Proton 9.0-3, the latest stable release of their open source compatibility tool for Steam Play. And trust me, you're gonna wanna hear about the new features and game support this version brings. All right, first up, Proton 9.0-3 brings Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora to Linux. Well, the desktop version anyway, but that's a pretty big deal for fans of AAA games who don't want to switch over to Windows just to play their favorite titles. But that's not all. Proton 9.0-3 adds support for a bunch of other Windows games too. We've got Farlight 84, Ball at Work, the ultimate speedrun platformer, Banyu Lintar Engine, and Dinner with an Owl. And if you're into older classics, Sleeping Dogs, Definitive Edition, Siberia, and The King of Fighters. Three and Steam Edition are now playable on Linux with Proton 9.0-3. How cool is that? I know there are a lot of hidden gems out there, and Proton keeps bringing more of them to us. You can also dive into games like Super, Sword of Convalaria, and Unity of Command 2 without the hassle of dual booting. Now, Proton 9.0-3 doesn't just stop at adding support for new games. It also fixes some regressions in games like Alan Wake's American Nightmare DLC, Bionic Commando, and Sonic Forces. If you've been having issues playing these titles on Linux before, now's the perfect time to give them another try. But hold on, there's more. This update also improves support for a wide range of existing games. Titles like Guild Wars 2, Fallout 3, Yakuza Kiwami, Quantum Break, and Zeepkist have all received some love in this release. Big hitters like Halo Infinite and Final Fantasy, The Zodiac Age, yep, they got some improvements too. And if you're into VR gaming, Proton now adds support for D3D12 in OpenXR and improves video memory usage in 32-bit games, which should give you a smoother experience overall. Under the hood, Proton 9.0-3 is packed with updates. It uses newer versions of important components like DXVK, Wine Mono, and VKD3D Proton. If you're a bit of a tech geek, you can check out the full changelog on Proton's GitHub page for more technical details. So, how do you get Proton 9.0-3 up and running? It's super easy. Just head to your Steam library, right-click on the game you want, select Preferences, go to the Compatibility section, and pick Proton 9.0-3 from the drop-down menu. Steam will handle the rest. And that's it, folks. Proton 9.0-3 is here, and it's opening the door to more games than ever for us Linux users. So what are you waiting for? Fire up Steam, try out some of these newly supported titles, and let me know in the comments which one you're most excited about. Don't forget to hit that like button if this video helped you, and subscribe for more updates on Linux gaming. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy gaming!